so we're at episode seven, and this is Friends of Indie Left, and I am excited to sit down with, again, I'm going to give you a little nice intro, and it's really funny, I googled the name James Fauntleroy today, and I did not know really? that there is a famous, like, producer Hollywood entertainer yeah. by the name of James Fauntleroy, I'm like, wait a minute, and he... You can almost double for him. Is it, are you related? Are you family? Are you family? Yeah. I'm like, how how are they not working together already? Yeah, it's kind of funny that you mentioned that because uh, this particular James Fauntleroy uh, has worked with many big name artists. Uh, I think he's out in Los Angeles. And um, I tried to reach out just to, you know, be like, hey, you know, we have the same name. And a lot of us who have the the last name Fauntleroy are most likely all related. Uh, you can probably take a DNA test and, you know, go down the line and you can probably go, you know, maybe as far as seven, eight generations back, you know, and find out that we're all related uh, because we all pretty much came from the same area. So, yeah, there's a lot of us. Uh, there's a few of us out there. There's actually an area in uh, Washington called Fauntleroy as well. I think it's near Seattle. So there's an actual area with my last name in it too. So it's Get pretty out. That, that That's pretty awesome. So James Fauntleroy, yeah. better known as JB Font or JB. Okay. He's yeah. an activist. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Just, just, just one also little tidbit Correct. of information. If you look, if you go on the Google machine and you look up Donald Duck's middle name, you'll see Fauntleroy as his middle name. Get out. Well, that, that, Kind of makes sense. Oh, we got RLA in the chat. Radical Leftist Agenda. How are you? Uh, so, JB Font, JB, he's the activist. Uh, he is a disability advocate, uh, and he's the host of the JB Show on Revolutionary Blackout Network, as well as his own podcast live stream at the JB Font channel, which, by the way, just hit 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. Congratulations. We're so happy and proud of you for that. Um, Thank you. this, this Thank again you. is going live on Rockfin YouTube, Odyssey. Well, it's not Rockfin yet. Facebook, Telegram, Twitch, and Twitter. And it is 9 30 on Saturday night right now. So we're excited to have you. Um, so again, I have, I have a bunch of questions. Um, I've been a fan. Like I said, I saw you, I, th I, I think you introduced, did you introduce Bernie on stage? Is, is that, is that what happened? Was, were you like at a rally or me? No, I, never. I see uh, you on I don't know where I saw you somewhere where I felt like I saw you somewhere on, on stage or on camera. And you were like shy and you're like, I don't know. I've never been up here. Maybe that wasn't even you. It, it felt like it was, but I'm, maybe I'm. No, I'm the only time I've ever actually been, uh, I, I given a speech like that was at the Mar March for Medicare for all. Right. Um, I was there here in Orlando and we were giving a speech there. Uh, I gave one of the speeches. I was actually one of the only people that wasn't running for office that actually spoke. Yeah. Yeah, really. Yeah. Uh, I know. Um, what's her name? The, the, the girl was it Christine. Uh, she was Christine Olivia. Oli Olivia. She, she was there. Um, and didn't Be Meg was there too. I, I, I was actually, I brought up the picture today. You were on the cover of Common Dreams, man. That was awesome. You had like a full <laughs> yeah. page, full picture of it was your picture credited at JB Font. It was that's awesome. Yeah. I, I've never I never yeah. had anything make it into Common Dreams. So that that was super impressive. Um